the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That, that is a deceptive view. Right. Uh, because once a person is drawn off into that, there is no I, there is no modify, modification that they can do to that practice to cause it to become, you know, right in the sight of God. Well, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm a fornicator, I, I can get married. If I'm an adulterer, I can stop doing it. But if, if I'm practicing that, there is nothing that you can do except stop. Yeah, y'all know, but you can convert back to heterosexual activity. Yeah, you can go back to heterosexual activity. So there's, there's, there's an yeah. outlet that no yeah, really yeah. gave an outlet for change. Let me right, tell you there's something. definitely an outlet for change, but it had nothing to do with you in that in that lifestyle. Let me tell you something interesting about 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 that whole scenario. Even inside of a a uh, relationship between two women and two men. Yeah. Do you find it interesting that even inside of that relationship, one, one, of, them, one of them is playing the male role, yep. and exactly. the playing the female role? Exactly. Isn't that in the art? I, I find that. Why, why, why are you doing this? Why exactly. don't both of y'all, both of y'all, just be male? Exactly. Or both of y'all be female? Why exactly. you gotta try to maintain? See, even in that, they're, they're condemning them. They're saying you're lying. Because exactly. even inside of that, you still try to maintain the very thing that you should have been maintaining. Before you fell into this deception. Yeah. Exactly. But now, now, now let me say this and I'll be finished. I'm making the principle of Ephesians. It goes on to say, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, a lot, bro. Continue, but rather than giving a thing. For this ye know, no whoremonger, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. Right. Right. What he's saying is, if you practice these things, if this become a way of life, then what you need to know that that is not kingdom. Now, I do what I want to say to you is, if you go to Revelation, right. look at all the seven of those churches, you are going to see that what Jesus told them is what they needed to do to fix it. Fix it, right. And the consequences of not fixing it. Exactly. And and, and I think that's what I say, that's how ministry should approach it though. And 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 what we need to understand too, Bishop, was do we when we talk about people, you said becoming a lifestyle, there's people when we talk we out there ministering in the harvest. See, the harvest has fornicators, homosexuals, and other other things. So the question is always is, are we supposed to minister, bring them into the kingdom? Or yeah. are we saying is that certain lifestyles shouldn't even be ministered to? And I don't think yeah, that's yeah, No, no, no. I, I mean, it, being out there on the street, the reality of it is, is I got one message. My message is gospel reconciliation. I, I'm preaching one that's Christ. What saying, you know what I'm saying? I got. I, I can't sit down and, and break down sin and say you need to stop doing that. You need to stop doing that. Right. Hey, my, I mean that. That would truly be counterproductive. If it comes, we're, we're actually fishing with a net. Right. <laughs> oh, we throwing it out there. We want everything. Like with the guy with the people invited the Pope. Go get the good and the bad. We will exactly. sort them out later. <laughs> if they can accept Christ, he can. Yeah, he can eradicate the issue. And that's so, what I'm saying when we yeah, break. No, man, no, yeah. no, no. That, that's but, about, but I thought you guys were talking about. I thought you guys were talking about inside the body of Christ. Well, we talking about. The, well, we talking about the fact yeah, is. Oh, we're talking about both. Really. We talking both really. We talking about the fact is that the person. I don't know whether the person came in as a homosexual or became a homosexual. Uh, well, all we know was that the the ministry said you got to go. What's he about? He's been saying though. You've got to ask yourself: Can you bring a homosexual into the body of Christ? And see, my answer is say yes. My, but my, my answer to that is you cannot. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you what I'm saying. Matter of fact, when I just put it on a bigger level, 
you can bring a sinner into because you go minister a sinner too. You minister unrighteous. You minister ungodly too. Because he no, said, no, no. you missed my point. You missed my point. My, my, I'm saying to you, can you bring a homosexual into the body of Christ? I, cause when I look at, I want to answer. I, I'm, I'm trying to qualify my answer. So what I'm telling you is, what, you're saying that Jesus is working in you to bring a person in who is unrepentant. Yeah, but see, that's the point. I don't think, to me, is that somebody comes in in a condition, alcoholic, whatever, if they're willing to receive Christ, Amen. that's all I need to start. That's my ministry starting point. No. No. Because, they, because, because, Jesus, when he called him preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and, 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 and that the, in Mark chapter 1, verse 14, look at the first thing he said. Repent. 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 Yeah. Right, but, 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 but that's... Repent means you can't come in as you are. Well, 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 here's the question, because many are called into the body of Christ with the conditions oh. of hearts are not full. I mean, you got strongholds you come in with, right? Because you got alcoholics come in. They got strongholds. I consider homosexuality in itself a stronghold that a person is working with. Uh, and matter of fact, they even got to work on the fact of, of moving from fornication to a commitment to a partner. God right, help us, Jesus help us, Lord no, help us. But my point is, I'm saying is that all those activities that they do has to, and I said we bring in fornicators too. I mean, you we can talk about you. Okay, okay listen. listen. I'll you give you my you example. Was I, was a I was a fornicator. Right. I was a I was a marijuana smoking partier. Right. But when I sat that Sunday morning, that right. and I heard the gospel, yeah. and that gospel penetrated my heart. Right. Immediately I knew. Immediately I knew. I got to change. You got to change. That, 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 that. Immediately the Spirit of God begins to bring conviction. Right. Yeah. Immediately that, I'm no longer, now I become detestable in my own eyes. Now, 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 that's the point right there, because I remember my transition. My conversion was, I was a drunk. And so in 79, when I converted, I was still a drunk. Still I didn't drunk. literally get, I got delivered from alcohol in 19, it was November 2nd, 1985. Mm -hmm. I was delivered from alcohol and cigarettes at the same time, same setting, same prayer room. November 2nd, 1985. When, 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 when you got saved? When I got saved, I got convicted, but I couldn't quit. Well, well so I, conviction, conviction is supposed to lead to repentance. And it did. Now hold on. According to Jesus, if there is no repentance, there is no end in the kingdom. But, well, I guess I was out of the kingdom because well, I, I was I going to church in the name of Christ. But Bishop, the scripture said he did not come to call the the righteous, but the unrighteous. Yes. And that yes, parable, sure. that parable he gave with the banquet, he said, "Go get them, good and bad." Yeah, at, yeah. At, so and I'm they, ac they accepted Christ, and they accepted the blood of Christ, but there was still some things they had yeah. to work on them. What? You, you, you just prayed that prayer, make that an abomination. And there's a lot of things that come. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Look at look at the scripture. Why does Jesus say to this prostitute, "Go and sin no more"? And, and yet at the same time, he didn't say go and work on the process. He didn't say go. He said, look, right now, go and sin no more. You know, he I, said that. He said it in the scriptures where it said, unless something worse happens to you. In other words, he's saying is that this lifestyle that you do, whether whether it's a fornicator or a drunkard or anything, he's saying is. The worst conditions can happen to you based on that sowing that you do in the flesh. No, the, the, the worst condition is going to happen if you fail to obey what he's telling you. But the thing he's is, telling you, right, right, he's right, telling right. you that his, his course, his instruction to you is go and sin no more. There, there, there's, there's something I saw in the process. I mean, I literally lived through okay. this, but so I know it's true. From 79, it took me six years to get delivered from, I mean, literally delivered from alcohol and cigarettes. Now, I would quit, but I'd go back. i quit, i go back. The last time that it happened was, I, I, I got embarrassed when we go back to church. 
And the women at the church actually came to the house and got me off the couch, sitting next to my wife and took me <laughs> back to the church. Amen. But I was crying out to God. I was crying. I mean, I mean, literally boo-hooing, man. Every time I got, every time I got drunk, I would go pray. Amen. So, so me and my wife said, the Lord, you got tired of smoking. Let me come up with So that's why he delivered me from the alcohol. But Amen. it was a fight. It was a struggle from 1979 all the way up to November 2nd, 1985 to get off that stuff. Right. But I remember when he delivered me from it, it was gone. The very taste of it was taken out. I haven't had a cigarette since that period. The only thing I was drinking now, and I'm not an alcoholic because I was, I was getting drunk off the wine we drinking, but uh but that took that was it didn't happen overnight. Yeah. And and I struggled with it. And that's why when I was telling you earlier, I can I can tolerate a guy in the jail, I mean jail, coming to church drunk. Cause that's how you go. I know God can deliver him, but if he keep coming, God gonna get him. You know what I'm saying? We we see people that been in church for. I, I did a ministry. I did a message. <laughs> Korea, I did a message in Korea, Bishop, and the guy said, "I've been in church for 50 years. This is the first time I even understood the word." Yeah. I, I, listen, all I'm saying is, we can come up with all these categories, and come up with all these excuses, but I'm telling you. The Spirit of God is not constrained or limited when this seed comes to bring about the effects that it God promised. He said, my word will not return to me void; that it will accomplish that of which I send it. He does not send his word to bring about stages. But, so, but, what, look, okay, so what happened? What happened if you to die the following day? What well, if it's 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 coming back. a quality decision yeah. to, because here's the point, the Bible says, you you come in as with as a babe using milk until you get to the point of strong meat. That shows a progression too. The Bible says you come in as a new creature. Yes, with milk. Let's, let's, let's get this clear. Let's get this straight. The scripture says you come in as a new creature. Yeah. All things are passed away. When? The moment you come in. Well, why why would they have Second Corinthians? 10 where it says the weapons of warfare are not cardinal but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, every high thing exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing to capture every thought unto the obedience of Christ and then it says once you get there then you can do your revenge right and I think that's what it says it says a vision of uh, a, 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 what your own abuse has been fulfilled yeah I don't want to visit that. Thing. Once what you don't realize is, is that you see, here's the thing that Jesus tried to warn you against. What you don't realize is that when you allow that thing to happen, you're putting the whole body at risk. But here's the problem you're saying in that the oh, point. Hold on, hold on. How we get the house? That a little leaven. We leaven the whole up. But but the problem is that that's you've been called to go preach to the leaven. To bring them in. No, no, no. I'm talking about what we're not talking about bringing them in. We're talking about what what the Spirit of God has supposedly done the regenerative work and put them inside the body of Christ. Okay. But, but, no, the one thing that, that did happen was a preacher named Sammy Smith. That preached, I think I told you this one time, Bell Taylor. That brother preached on drums every Sunday. I don't know if it yeah, seemed like yeah. every Sunday he was preaching about alcohol. And I, I got I disliked him with a passion. But when eventually, after I got delivered, then me and him became real close friends. But he was addressing the issue. But I can honestly say, the one thing, Bishop, that I take in consideration is I couldn't heal me. I couldn't get me off of the liquor. I, 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 I had tried. I couldn't stop smoking. I tried that. Couldn't stop drinking. I tried that. Only recourse I had was to go to God. And so that's why when I found myself in that state, my, my 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 habit became to go pray. I literally, if she was here now, she could testify to you. Every time I got to up, man, I go in my in my in my, in my, in my bedroom and pray like I ain't never prayed before. Right. And and, and that, through that process is how I got the move. I mean, it was, it was it was God that did it because I know I couldn't do it. So and that was a true deliverance. Yeah. So when I look at other people who are struggling and saying, and you said who well, else for they had died. I think because he is who he is, and he knows how to bring us. He didn't, you know, he didn't die on the cross and kill us and send us to hell. He actually died on that cross and get us delivered from all the things that we found ourselves bound to and sin. 
So I know that he is able to deliver. I know that he's able to, you know, he's able. He can, he can his deliver all those sexy hours. He can deliver drunk. Yeah. He can deliver fornicate and adultery. He can, he can deliver. He does. Undoes the work to the devil. The time frame. The time frame of the issue. The time frame, it right. ain't mine to say. It's his time frame. Right. So that's why when I look at a person who's caught up in, like, and I know I sound harsh sometimes when it comes to homosexuality, and I and it ain't so much that I'm harsh with it. It's just I'm harsh with people pushing it. That, that kind of bothers me when people sound like, yeah, you need to be a liar. You need to be a drunk. Go ahead and drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you say I don't want anybody right. encouraging anybody in sin, you know, because that'll exactly. kill people. We shouldn't be in that business. Right. No, we should be in that business. But, but, but Bishop, yeah. I, think, I think, I mean, as the elder. No, no, Because it's definitely going to take us over time. But maybe that's something we can discuss what you just said. If you're saying, and show the scripture, let's do the CIT on that one, about whether a person is instantly changed or is it a process. Okay. Well, well. Cause you got a whole household of saints and at least I, I saying is, over the years the church has done all kinds of things in the name of god that wasn't of god yeah they, you know did like a whole host they committed a whole host of crimes in the name of god in the name of god right all i'm saying is that when you start looking at the text when you start looking at the, the we're talking about now the work of the spirit of god right and bringing a person into the kingdom. Into the kingdom. Listen, listen. When I got saved, I told God I got a problem with women. Bam! That listen, the day I got saved, I ain't smoke another joint since. Not 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 two weeks later, not three weeks later, the moment I got saved, that thing he can't dealt with that thing. I, I'm telling you that when the Spirit of God comes in to do the work of redemption. He don't, listen, he coming to do it. He's laying the foundation. But here's, here's the question you have there. I agree with what you said, and, and I, I think Elder saying the same thing, that it can be instantly changed, instantly worked on. First, I'm saying is that that's not consistent across the board of people well, instantly being delivered. I, I, don't, I, I don't see it in scripture. Where, 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 I don't see, where, any, I folks, think, I don't see any folks in scripture I don't see not one case that gives us property in this book. The, the, the parable, the, 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 the banquet parable is a good example. Yeah, that was no, the banquet parable. The banquet parable is about the overall scope of the kingdom. The and overall. what he's trying to show is, all he's trying to show you is, is that the people who were initially invited, the people yes. who were targeted, right? Because they rejected it, God right. would not assault those who, who were not invited. The highway get down into the nuts and bolts of what it takes to be converted and participated in the kingdom. It's but not you, addressing that. But you, all, but, that, all that parable is trying to show you is, is that if God sends His word to the people He targeted and they reject it, He's going to get somebody else. Yeah, but but look what He got That's though. All That's all but no, we're saying is that what He got was the point. He got the good, the bad. Yeah, he, got, he, got, he got all types of things that's coming. Right, everybody. The point that he was talking about good and bad. Well, that's what we're saying is that our job, I think our commission is that harvest out there. The harvest that's out there has good and bad in it. And then we go get that harvest. All we can do is allow God to work on that person. I mean, I'm saying I can't, I can't expect instant deliverance. I can only just get bring him to Christ. I, I I can't expect it in instant delivery from you. But look I can expect it in instant delivery from the one who's doing that who's doing that impossible work in our heart. Because the, the the mere fact that he's saving you is an impossible work. Right. And I'm saying is what he's been bringing into the body has been uh in my fact it even goes in John's the scripture that really goes with that. El, I mean Bishop is this one, John uh three sixteen. No, no, let me show you this. This tells me. This is John chapter three, verse seven, I think it's 17, 18, that gets my attention about God working, doing the work. And you even said, as a matter of fact, the scripture you said the other day is that he that begun a good work in you is faithful to finish. Yeah, um, that's false. Yeah, here, this right here, this scripture saying is that uh, 
For he said, and this is the condemnation, the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light. Those are people out in the world and people we bring in because their deeds were evil. Now that could go from homosexuality, fornication, drunkenness, and anything else. He said, for everyone that does evil hates the light. They need a comers to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does his truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be manifest and that they are wrought, formed, shaped by God or in God. God is the one doing the shaping, the molding. And, and, and frankly, the body of Christ got too many issues for <laughs> I'm concerned. That, that that I see it, I ain't seeing no. Put the, put the text back up there. Okay. <laughs> One second. All I'm telling you is, is that. I'll bring it up. One second. I got to break it up. I got to. One second. All, all I'm telling you is, is that look now, I don't look at this thing. I don't deal with this thing. I done, I've been put in a position where we had to deal with it. We do deal with it. Not actually had to do with it. I had to make a decision about what we're going to do with it. And I'm telling you. Uh, according to scripture, if if someone embraces a lifestyle of sin, but that's you talking about fornicator and every other sin, right? This I'm, talking, this, I'm talking about we, we put them, we listen, we dealt with all of them, all of them. That's if, what I'm talking about. All if of them it comes to our attention that you're having sex outside of marriage, you're gonna be dealt with. You see, what I'm saying, right now, the question though is if they were. Because we talk about somebody that came into the kingdom, received Jesus Christ. We talk about people like Walmart. You said there's somebody him. Who that one of them is that, that, that Walmart? The, the 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 guy was a great man, doing great things in the kingdom, evangelist. But then apparently somebody said that the uh, his hidden lifestyle was not conforming to God. Well, so this lifestyle, if, if this ain't hearsay. If this ain't just foolish talk, if it can be, it, it is a, a, a known truth that he's fornicating or committing adultery, he got to be dealt with. He got to be dealt with. Right. But the question is, though, we still bring them in. I mean, my, I guess my point I'm saying is when we bring people to Christ, there's, there's, there's a lot of work that God is doing on each individual dealing with if it's, if it's fornication, if it's adultery, or homosexuality. God is working those things. In other words, they don't come in squared away or put his way. They're in. Okay, so so what happens in conversion? Well, what, 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 what literally what, happens? What, in conversion? Happens, what <laughs> happens during conversion? What, what happens in conversion, from my understanding of it, is that you're immediately connected with with the spirit. You're born again spirit, yeah. And then I thought, Bishop, the whole purpose is that let yeah, God do the work. work. Let God do the work oh. on you. And no. then he does. He has no. to because you know, nobody else can. Let me tell you something. Let me say. Let me say before we make our mistake here. See, here's the problem, and this is why. This, this is why I think we got so many issues in the church. That's why I think we, we got, got a lot of issues in the church. See, the problem is, is that the spirit of God is dealing with you based upon your need. Yes, sir. Now your need is for Christ. Yes, sir. Now, if your need is Christ then that means that what you already have is not what you need. Okay. Now, so we're not addressing homosexuality. That's a symptom. That's a symptom. We're not addressing the fornication. That's a symptom. Yes, sir. I agree with that. We're not addressing the alcohol. That's <clears throat> and too many times what we do is we address the symptom. Yeah. So the yes. spirit of God exposes your real need okay what when when you see that the life that is currently animating you is corrupt and wicked and is evidencing itself with these symptoms it is the life that the spirit of god is trying to convict you about not the symptoms yeah, there you go uh, that, 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 and that, that, that makes perfectly good sense right which was why well, we, well, well. what we do is we go, we, we we try to pre, we we think people are coming to get the symptom dealt with. They, the, we we do that. We're trying to convict you about the need for a whole different kind of life. And, and, and exactly. I kind of like kind of put 
super yeah. important reality that that life has been programming your mind. It been from programmed. The day that you were born until the day that you're born again. Yeah. And so that renewing your mind has to take place. It's like yeah, a lot of things that I'm doing now. It's like my mind's an automatic. Yeah. And, those, and that's what I'm talking about. The phone like the micro programmed to a computer. You match the button, whole series of operations take place. And so we have those things hardwired into our brains. Exactly. And so now certain circumstances situations are going to lead you into going okay. back into oh, oh, oh. not even a spirit of God. You, you missed it. Okay, so the spirit of God is trying to un, un, unplant that exactly, life. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, unplant a new life. Right. Exactly. Right. Oh, hey, hold on. If he surplus the new life, hear me well enough, if the person who is being ministered to understand that what he is doing is surplanting a new life, and that's where you make mistake in. Well, well, I and think that's why we have all this other stuff that continues on, and people are struggling to go to hell because they not really understood what the real need is, and they're not really understanding what the Spirit of God is seeking to do. He's not exactly. seeking to fix your homosexuality. He's seeking, he's seeking to implant a new life in you. Right, and that's we're agreeing. So the point that we're saying is as they come into the body, right? Exactly. There's a process or renewing of the mind that takes time. And each no. individual no. takes time. No. No. no, no, the renewing of the mind is to teach you how to operate in the principles that govern that life. You, you got the life to mirror the spirit of God gifted to you. You and have that, that, And that, that, that makes sense, right? But you still got the same heart-wired brain. Yeah. And so now and then when he's talking in terms of strongholds, I think that's what he's dealing with. It's like, Are you it's trying perfect. to tell me that the spirit of God doesn't know what needs to be fixed? Yeah, but we're just telling you that the, we don't know how long that takes for each individual. Okay, yeah. well, look in the Bible and find me a case where you got, got a situation like you described to me. Which well, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. one person, show me one person. Jesus runs into Legion. He's got a whole legion of demons in him. Right. How, how, how much time does Legion need? <laughs> no, 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 I got, I got we're, it. We're, 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 I, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a legion of need. Yeah, but look, look, <laughs> well, look. The point is, though, is that if Please you answer my question, how, how much time, time does legion need? I, yeah, I, the question was how much time did the man need to have to have his the mud pot put on his eyes and exactly. did go before he you came That ain't salvation. That's that's a healing. We're talking about people who is but that's, but that's, that's what we're talking about now. We're, talk, we're, we're talk, not talking about salvation. We're talking about healing. No, we're, we're talking about salvation. In the we're talking about salvation and the life that springs from it afterwards. But we see that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm not looking at I'm looking at the, the, the implant of the life and the evidence of the life. If you go to any place where Paul preached the gospel and there was an authentic, genuine regeneration work done, You'll see instant change. Yeah, but we see that, that we also see a, a continuous issues of things. Peter, as far as when uh, when Paul confronted Peter when wow. they went in there and some that's food, he stood right there, there and act like he act like he's under the law, don't want to deal with Please. these uh, these Gentiles, and that was not the that was not the will of God, and as he was he was confronted with that was for him. There's a. Uh, uh, there's the, the the people that walk with Jesus, the disciples walk with Whoa. Jesus, to include Whoa. Peter. Whoa. Peter. Huh? Whoa. How many times did Peter do that? What? The, Paul only said in one incident. How many times did Peter do that? And Paul said, matter of fact, I got to give you that two records, Paul rebuked him for that one instant. That was not a lifestyle of Peter. But I got I got You're two. talking about stuff that people are living in. I got I got another one for you on that Peter. Yep. Peter. I got another one, Peter. When, 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 when we did when he went to Cornelius' house. Before yeah. he went to Cornelius' house, before he went to Cornelius' house, uh Jesus gave him a vision about yeah. Peter. Rise up and eat. And he said, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna touch that unclean thing. Because he was trying to talk apart, right? Because he's talking about the Gentiles unclean okay. as well. And 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 he and eventually God said, What God is called clean. Yes. You 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 don't call it unclean, yes. And and, and what I'm saying is that there was a, all even saints have different growth and changes they have to do as far as looking toward other people. And well, I, we look we look at uh, Paul Paul's declaration when he cool. said, "I press toward the mark of the high call of God, which is in Christ Jesus." Not that I count myself to have obtained, but there oh. was still growth. He was, he was, yes, you, know. you have to understand now. 
this is renewed concerning the operation of the kingdom of God.